Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing the all day wear test on the Becca Ultimate Coverage. This is supposed to be a 24 hour foundation. I will say I love the coverage. It is so pretty. Um, it just makes my skin look flawless. And we all know it doesn't start out looking flawless ever. So the fact that I only use two pumps on this to do my whole face and my neck is amazing. So that's already, it already goes further than some of the other foundations where I have to do multiple pumps, not just to do my face, but to also go down my neck. So the fact that this, um, th this is just an amazing foundation to start out with. So I'm hoping it's going to be an amazing foundation to get through the day. Uh, we, let's see it is in the color driftwood so i did go a little bit darker for a foundation um that's because i've been out in the sun and from the neck down i've got a little bit of a different color on my chest so to match my chest with my face i went with a little bit darker with becca but again so far it is amazing i did use the scandinavia makeup primer spray to start today with and then to set the powders, etc. I use the Hangover 3-in-1 uh, Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So I set with this. So we're going to see how this does. I am going to be out in the elements. I think it's going to be 102 today in Texas. So we're really going to put this, uh, this foundation to the test. Yes, we are. So if you want to see how this performs, you're in the right spot. So, okay, stay so we're going to try the Becca Ultimate 24 hour foundation ultimate coverage. And I got mine in the color Driftwood. So the packaging is beautiful. I will give it that. I'm going to start out with the makeup primer spray from Scandinavia. I'm going to add a couple pumps here. Okay, so two pumps gave me the coverage I needed and it went on really nice. It's like melted into the skin really, really pretty. So I do love that. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and set my face basically for the rest of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and add my highlighter and we'll see how well that goes in. Okay, the highlighter bounced on top of it really nice and kind of just is giving that almost an airbrushed look. It's a very, a, a good, very, a good, a good, very, a good, a pretty way of starting. I'm going to go ahead and set the highlighter and I'm just using the Maybelline fit me. And again, right now I'm just getting a nice, really pretty kind of airbrush look. So we're going to see how long this lasts all day today and we'll kind of go from there. So stay tuned. Okay. So it is end of day and it's been about 12, 13 hours since I put on this foundation. So very excited. I do have different, a different eye look because possibly yesterday I forgot to film at the end of the day. So I went ahead and did the all day wear test again today, which the good part is I wore it for longer. So let's see how this worked. We're going to do the scan. Zoomed in. I'm I'm kind of excited. So it does, it did pull apart on the corners of my nose a little bit, but as far as the top of my nose goes, it didn't do too bad. It's, you know, a little patchy here and there, but as far as the top of my nose, it kind of actually held. Now my chin, it did rub off a little bit. As far as the rest of 
my face it held good but that probably on my nose is the best that I've gotten in a long time as far as a foundation goes. We're going to zoom so back out I'm real quick. So I'm really excited about how this foundation has sat on my skin all day and it was over a hundred today. So very hot, kind of muggy. And again, I'm just super impressed with how for the most part it stayed on top of my nose. That never happens. That never happens. And what has rubbed off on the bottom of my chin Thank you so much bad. for watching this video today using the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I hope you enjoyed this kind of what happens, you know, in the morning setting it. It looks flawless and beautiful. And then what happens throughout the day to the end of the, the work day in 102 degree weather heat. It's pretty crazy, absolutely crazy to be in that kind of heat, but not have it dry. I do love a dry heat better than a wet heat. It is way different, way different. Anyways, if you guys have experienced them both, you know what I'm talking about. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.